Welcome to Comparing Apples with Apples. In this lesson I'm learning to add and subtract fractions with unlike denominators. Let's imagine I have one quarter of a chocolate bar and my sister gives me half of another chocolate bar. I want to work out how much I've got in total. Well, over here you can see I've got some halves and I've got some quarters. So let's start by pulling down one quarter like my question says I need over here. So I'm going to move this one down. So that's the one quarter that I've got. Now I need to add one half. So I'm going to take one of these down here as well. Now looking at what I've got down here, you can see that one quarter plus one half is the same as three quarters. And if I split this half into quarters, it's really easy to see. One, two, three quarters. Now let's just record over here what I did. I couldn't add them together straight away because they didn't have the same denominator. So I pulled down one quarter, which we saw over here, and then I had to split my half into quarters and I found out that one half is the same as two quarters. And now that they've got the same denominator I'm able to add them together. One quarter plus two quarters equals three quarters which is what you can see over here. Let's try another question. Uh, this time I've got two thirds of a chocolate bar and I want to add one ninth. Well over here you can see I've got my thirds and down here I've got my ninths so let's start by pulling down the two thirds that we start with. So we'll move both of these down, let's set them about there. There are my two thirds and now I need to uh, move one ninth, I might take it from that end, set it just down underneath So now you can see that two thirds plus one ninth is the same as seven ninths. And we can check that by splitting our thirds up. And now you can see the seven ninths. Now let's just see how we record that. Well, we had two thirds plus one ninth. So to start with we couldn't answer this question because these fractions had different denominators. So what we did is we pulled our two thirds down here and we changed our two thirds into ninths. And two thirds became six ninths. And then I was able to add this one ninth here. And because the denominators are now the same it was easy for me to do. Six ninths plus one ninth is seven ninths. If we weren't using materials we could check that these two are equivalent fractions. If I put them over here I know that I needed to change these two thirds into ninths so I think to myself how do I change the, th the denominator which is a three over here into a nine? I'll have to times it by three. So to keep the uh, fraction equivalent I'm going to have to change the new times the numerator by the same amount so I'm going to times that by 3 and I get 6 which is the same as what we worked out using materials. Now let's try a subtraction question. Uh, this time I've got 4 tenths of a chocolate bar and I want to take away 1 fifth or because I've eaten a fifth of that chocolate bar. You can see up here I've got tenths and down here I've got fifths. Now the question says I start with four tenths, so let's start by pulling those down there. I'll move them over here actually. There are my four tenths and I need to take away one fifth. So since this is a takeaway question or a subtraction question, I'm not going to sit one of these down here because I'm not adding them together. I'm just sitting it down here so I can work out how much I need to take away. So looking at this uh, picture down here, you can see that taking away this one-fifth is going to be the same as taking away two-tenths. So four-tenths minus two-tenths is going to leave me with two-tenths. Two-tenths. 
Now let's look at how we could have done that without any materials. Well, you can see it's hard to do because the denominators are not the same, so we need to change them so that they are. And one obvious solution is to change the fifths into tenths. And one way I can do that is by making an equivalent fraction. So I'm thinking, what is one fifth in tenths? Well, I know that to change fifths into tenths here, I must have multiplied the denominator by 2, so I'd have to multiply the numerator by 2. 2 times 1 is 2. So I know that 1 fifth and 2 tenths are equivalent. So I go back over to my question here. I've got 4 tenths, and I'm going to take away 2 tenths, because remember we worked out that 2 tenths is equivalent to 1 fifth. Now it's easy for me to do, if I've got 4 tenths and I take away 2 tenths, I'm going to be left with 2 tenths, which is exactly the same as what we got when we worked this question out using materials. Now let's try uh, one more without any materials. I've got 10 fifteenths of a chocolate bar, and I eat 2 fifths of that. I want to work out how much chocolate I've got left. So just like before, you can see at the moment I can't answer that because the denominators are different. So I'm going to have to change them so that the denominators are the same. Well, I'm going to choose to change my fifths into fifteenths. So I'll write two fifths over here, and I want to change it so it's an equivalent fraction, which is in fifteenths. So I think, how did I change my five into fifteen? Well, I made it three times bigger. And how did I change my 2 to keep it in an equivalent fraction? It's also going to be multiplied by 3, or made 3 times bigger. So 2 times 3 is 6. So I know that 6 fifteenths is equivalent to 2 fifths. So now I go back to my question over here, and I can change it. So I've got 10 fifteenths minus, and because we worked out that 2 fifths is equivalent to 6 fifteenths, I'm going to put in 6 fifteenths here. And now you can see it's really easy for me to do. 10 fifteenths minus 6 fifteenths is going to leave me with 4 fifteenths. I hope you've found this lesson helpful. For more help, check out teachertools.co.nz.